Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a leather wallet like this one. Check it out. There's a link to a free template in the description down below. You could make it out of something else apart from leather as well if you really wanted to, like paper or uh, fake leather or, you know, whatever folds in the same or similar way that leather does. Without further ado, take a look at how it's done. Here is our template. Link in the description below. Um, once you've got that printed out, once you manage to threaten your printer into actually printing it, you should have something like this. My printer doesn't print right to the edge. I'm going to have to cut along the outside line there to start off. There we go. Tape along this edge here. But in the middle, see how I'm overlapping? So you've got your tape on, match these two, and fold that over. Like that. There we go. It's got a tape like that, essentially a book. That second piece of paper is just a plain sheet of A4 paper. Then we're going to cut along the black lines and cut out this middle bit here as well with some scissors. Do this little bit here, which was just going to be a slit, a slice in our final piece of leather. What we're going to do is we're just going to get the piece of paper and kind of pinch it down that line. Make sure the other one is tucked in as well. Kind of hold it there. And then snip in a tiny bit on each end. And then just trim off the little black line. There we go. And oh, it didn't quite go through on both sides. Shucks. That's alright, we can fix that by just trimming off the very right edge of this one. There we go. So now that we have that done, we need to transfer it to some leather. Get your leather rough side up. See, that's the nice shiny leather side. This is the rough side. And then place on your template somewhere where you maximize the amount of leather that you have. Don't just plonk it straight in the middle like that kind of thing. Put it to an edge like here. where you're not wasting too much leather. And get just a normal pen and go ahead and trace your template out. When you go to trace the template onto the piece of leather, don't forget to trace out this bit and draw a little line along that as well. Traces pretty well, just a pen. Anyway, here is one that I traced out earlier and cut out. You don't need to see me do that all again. Now when you want to cut your leather, best thing to use is a nice sharp knife like this box cutter or an X-Acto blade. It'll work a lot better than scissors. There we go. Now we're going to use a teaspoon. This is going to be very helpful. And some double-sided tape just to help hold things in place. First thing we're going to do is take the top little bit, which is from that to there, fold that down. And then take your teaspoon and use that to really pinch and sharpen up that fold. I'm gonna get a piece of double-sided tape. Where's the end? There it is. Cut it to the length of that. Stick it right down on the edge there. And then use a the spoon again to really stick it down. And then fold along a creased line. And then again, a teaspoon to really Push it down. Now I've done that. Lift that little tab, fold this one up from the bottom to tuck underneath it. Should go to the bottom of the side flaps. Pull that down again. And then you can even use the spoon method on this bit here. And then again fold this up to the top there. 
And it should just cover the bottom of this bit that we folded down earlier. And again, the spoon. Next thing we're gonna do is fold the side flaps over. And it should just about match up with those slits that we cut in there earlier. And use that spoon again to push that down. Just help fold it in. I'm gonna get a little bit of tape and put it on the top of this piece here. This will just help hold the tab in and uh, out of the way. And same on the side. There we go, now here's a little fiddly, but you'll be fine. So, peel off the double-sided tape. The best thing I found was to curve it in on itself so it doesn't instantly stick. And then, can I do that? And pull it through. Just pull the edges through. And then, tuck them down inside. Because they're a little fiddly but not too hard. And then again with the spoon just push that all down into place. Last thing we have to do is to fold it in half. Use the spoon just to press down the bits there. There you have it. Easily made. And there you have it, finished. Hey, Wayne, come on, mate, I'm trying to film here. Say hello to the peoples. What is that? Wallet. Huh? Hello. <laughs> oh, babe. So there we have it, finished. Wallet, done. Super easy, super quick, no sewing, no alls, thank goodness. Uh, you've got space for cards down here and money in the back here. This is designed to fit a 20 pound sterling note, which is bigger than American money, but should work for American money just as well. We can find leather in a lot of different places. This is some leather that I bought online, but you can go to a charity shop or a secondhand store, thrift store, buy a leather jacket, take it apart and use the leather from that, or old handbags, something like that. Be careful when you buy leather like that because it sometimes is fake leather and not real leather. Although you could make it out of fake leather if you wanted to as well. Or even paper or any other kind of material. You can take that template and use it on just about anything that you can fold in this way. So there you go. Happy making. And uh, see you guys next time. Don't forget, link in the description down below for the template to make this wallet. And it's free. Catch you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video right to the end. Here's the wall that I made, I've been using it for like a month now and it's still holding up fine. I'd really like to see your guys' versions if you end up making any. Links to my Twitter and Instagram are in the description down below along with the free template. So let me know and show me what you make. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.